Well, hi there. My name is Dimitri, and I am going to start a blog series on music theory. Uh, the fantastic thing with this is that I use a circle to understand the measurement of the notes, where the notes separate from each other and how they go together. And the best part of this is you don't even have to play an instrument. If you're interested in music theory, uh, the first part of this series, the, the first 10 blogs are going to take you through how music works, how notes are related to each other, um, how to build scales, how to build chords, and the only tool you need is this awesome Google Jamboard that I've put together, and you can have access to that if you just fill out a simple um, survey, and with your email, I'll let you join me, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to start a series of... Um, free introductory lessons, maybe three or four, we'll see how it goes, um, in groups of no more than five. And um, I think you're gonna love it because what we do is we're gonna do a Zoom class, either group or one-on-one or one -on -one with me. Uh, the blog series goes through the elements of music starting with the very, very basics. And um, it's all written out and clear to understand. And then we use this awesome Google Jam, this uh, Jamboard to show us the different um, options. Well, let me show you. We have some different options here. So there's your natural notes. You can see this is the musical alphabet C, D, E, F, G, A, B. You notice there's 12 dots and only seven letters. Okay, so all the blank dots are the black keys on the piano. And sometimes those can be a little tricky, especially for uh, us guitar players. And so we'll work with that. What else do we have here? We have a blank circle for you advanced players. And then you notice that it has a little help up here on top. It shows you the notes where they're spaced. And we can use this to build scales and chords. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced. This is your Roman numerals. This is called figured bass. And again, you can see how the placement of these are the same as the natural notes. And we'll go through all that in the series. Again, more Roman numerals. Oh. And this is the best part. If you're ever interested in learning how to sing or how to hear the different notes, this is Soul the Stick Man, okay? And you can see that we have the same placement again. This is what's called solfeggio, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, or C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay? And so we can use standing up in different parts of our bodies, the shoulder, the top of the head, our feet, and our waist, to find the distances between the notes. And this is a super fun part of the exercise. And we'll go through that. A little more soul the sick man and a blank page. So that'll get us started. And then my next recording will be an introduction to blog number one. Thank you very much.